Hi, Dave Youngquist, Michigan Toy Soldier. Welcome back to the gigantic build of the 1 16th scale Tamiya Tiger 1 tank. Well, since last time we uh, have met, I've done a lot of extra details uh, to the model, which I'm going to point out today. And I also want to mention this will really be the last time uh, we see the Tiger look like this in its raw form because the next video you see, we will be finally, finally starting to get this thing painted. So, what have we been working on? Okay, well, a lot of photo etch actually. Uh, I've been using the Aber set. It's incredibly detailed and it's incredibly fussy. So, you you know, if you're building along with me or if you're attempting one of these yourself, take your time because this stuff is uh, very time consuming and you'll lose a little bit of hair, but the results are actually going to be worth it. So, we have installed the clamps on the large shovel in front. We have the clamps also uh, installed for the hammer. We have done all the photo etch work that holds the axe, the smaller shovel, the jack block, and we have also super detailed the headlights. Now this is very cool. Uh, the kit part is very good, but I scraped it all away and added all new brass fittings and added the, uh, the connecting uh, wiring for that. And one of the big projects that we have got finished was a completely original aluminum barrel that um, my dad made for me. I'm going to show you this. Now the kit barrel is fine and we use that as the model, but the problem is in this scale you're always going to have, because it's a two-part barrel, you're going to have a seam. And try as you might, you're never going to be able to get that seam really out of there. So we had this made. And to show you how incredibly complicated that is, that's the blueprint that we use to turn this on a lathe. Thank you Pete. Incredible job. It fits absolutely perfect. Then another big project and one that actually took me the most amount of time was working on the smoke dischargers that are attached to the hull. Now I had uh, a customer here, a Michigan Toy Soldier, because I don't have any metalworking equipment, actually cut these out of brass and grind them down for me. Um, there is three on each side and there is just an incredible amount of detailing on the back of these. Chains, wiring, etc. Uh, I've got probably 40 hours in that neighborhood just getting these actually assembled. I know it sounds crazy, uh, obsessively crazy, but that's why we model, you know, we're doing this for fun. Uh, and I actually have some of the smoke canisters that were made for me also that will be dropping in here. Then from there we have got the screens installed. This was relatively easy, just a couple bands, glue them down, you're done. They fit perfectly, can't recommend them highly enough, adds a lot of realism to the model. Then we've also super detailed our storage unit which fits on the back of the tank. Um, the one again that comes with the kit is good but it's missing some things as all kits you know are apt to do. So I added the attachment brackets on the bottom, re-riveted the front of it, added all the new lasps, and that will fit there as soon as I get to painting. You can see that. Then I'm in the process of working on the 32 road wheels for this. I just brought a smattering of them. They're all base coated. The, uh, the actual rubber on the, uh, the wheels have been primed, painted. I've got a bunch on the bench at home right now so we're painting each one individually. Um, if I don't completely lose my mind I hope to have these done in about a week or two. So next time you see the tank, we'll have our base coat of paint down. We'll begin the weathering with AK and MIG Production products. Really looking forward to that. Hope to see you again soon. This has been Dave Youngquist, Michigan Toy Soldier on YouTube.